Morning, Kev. Bye, bubble boy. Bye, bubble boy. Hang on, there's people walking past and they probably looking at me funny. I've got the blinds open so everyone can see me do this. I feel like a right. <coughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really good day because what I've got here is my prize for a competition I entered a couple of weeks ago. Some stickers, savage, some cool little postcards. Twenty per cent. Get in. Oh, sick, sick, stick. Big up, Tinky. Nice fit. This is the back. So this is the colouring book. Yeah, it's a pretty sick book. It's got loads of really cool pictures in it. I can just show you a couple of the ones that I've coloured so far. So I've got that one there. That was the one that I won the competition with. Really chuffed with this one. Came out really good. Yeah, it's filled with wicked designs. It does bleed through the paper a bit though. So I recommend all I done was just put a sheet of marker paper on this side on the back with whatever I'm gonna color. But really good quality paper. The ink laid down wicked on it. Yeah, filled with sick designs. That was another one that I coloured. Yeah. And it's so much fun. Great for kids, adults. That was another one that I done. But I highly recommend getting one. You can get them on his store. I'll put a link in the description or something because I can't remember what his website is. Sorry, Inky. And the other prize that I got was this dope print. Look at that. I couldn't wait to frame it, so I framed it already. Really happy. Shouts out to Inky. Can't thank you enough, mate. So what to do today? I've had a tattoo skin plan for quite a while now. I'm not gonna lie, the stencil's not the best on it, but it's enough to work with. It's still just trial and error, really. I mean, I'm still learning how to tattoo. I'm still learning how to apply stencils. It's that fine line between using too much goo and not enough. I've just not found that perfect amount. I'll get there. So this is the practice skin I'm going to be using. Don't know if you can see it. As you can see, it's not got the best lines to follow. Actually, I can deal with this. So anyway, for the bit you've all been waiting for, it's time to show you my really nice tattoo gun. So the first tattoo gun I ever got was bought to me for my birthday. I was super stoked just to have a tattoo gun. But it was just a cheap one off of eBay, sort of a starter kit. And yeah, that was where I started. As time went on, I got a lot more into it and straight away I knew I wanted a new tattoo gun. So I'm looking on the internet, I'm looking at some of the best tattoo guns. I mean, they go up to a lot of money. But I saw this as an investment, so I went and spent a lot of money. You blew my mind, yeah. Three states of time. Just keep my inks and stuff in here. I've got some basic black fusion ink. I've got a white for highlights. And this is my gel that I'm not that good at using. And in here, more tattoo skins. They actually come with a strap. You attach the strap to the holes in the side and wrap it round things like your arm so you can practice on a contour. 
But to make the video easier to record today, I'm just going to do it flat on the table. Not because it's easier or anything. My power leads. I went for the critical tattoo power supply. It's the CRX2. Good bit of kit. And to go with it, I've got the critical tattoo wireless pedal. Stellar ink cartridges. I just looked up what was recommended for the tattoo gun that I bought. This skin that I'm using is a silicon. It's nice and thick. I bought this after experiencing this. This is the cheap thin stuff that you can get. Don't use it. The needle doesn't go in it as good. Just makes the quality of your work a bit lower. That's that one. And that's the silicon. Much better. I've got a few different size needles. Where have I got that? Oh. Couple of round liners, some round shaders, and then these are some mags. The bit you've all been waiting for. So yeah, I went for a pen. It fits in hand really nice. Feels really good to use. It does look a little like some sort of toy. Can't put my finger on it. It does vibrate. The thing I love about this tattoo gun, they're so easy to use. They're so easy to use, you just twist it, take it out, get your new one, put it in, twist it, and you're ready to go. This is the design I'll be doing today. It was designed by someone else. I'm using it just to save time, really. I just want to practice my tattooing more than spend hours on a design, if you know what I mean. Credit where it's due, it is stunning. And what I've done is I made my own version. As you can see, I've put my own little sort of rendition on it. She's pretty hot, right? I've popped a bit of colour into it, which I'm probably not going to do on the tattoo, just because I've got no colours. But this is what I'm going to use as my reference drawing. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's crack on.
hours later and we're finished. Turned out pretty sick. She's looking pretty hot if you ask me. Kept it pretty simple with the shading and stuff. I'm still learning but the tattoo gun is just a dream. Made for light work of the shading and stuff. Also gave myself a little tattoo. I have to say, it was a bit strange. I'll insert the footage now. Oh, I can't my hand still. Shaking too much. Oh, I'm shaking too much. Can't do it. Oh, I was going to do proper big eyes, but I'm kind of not wanting to do that now. Just going to do a little smiley face. Too nervous on myself. Oh, it does feel really weird. Right, calm, Jay. Chill. <sighs> don't even hurt. I'm just nervous. I actually don't feel too bad. He's getting there. It's just the feeling of doing it on yourself is strange. Yeah, my first ever tattoo. So that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing the tattoo. Definitely going to do some more in the future. If you liked the video, it'd be sick if you leave a comment. And I'd appreciate it loads if you'd subscribe. Make sure you tick that little bell icon if you'd like to be the first to know when the next video drops. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.